The life of a morbidly obese person is tragic. Tara's plight is no different. On My 600 Pound Life, severely overweight patients travel to Houston to meet with Dr. Now, a renowned bariatric surgeon who's willing to operate on high-risk people. These morbidly obese people struggle to lose weight in preparation for the surgery, often highlighting past and childhood trauma that led them to overeat in the first place. Again, Tara is no exception. She spends every day stuck in bed and lives from meal to meal. She lives in constant shame of her body, is always in pain, and is disgusted by herself. Today, we're discussing four of the craziest moments of Tara's journey. Stick it out to the end to find out why Tara is one of the first patients that Dr. Now almost gave up on. But before we start, be sure to like the video and subscribe to Plot Twist. In first grade, Tara was the biggest child in the classroom. When she was 13, she weighed 187 pounds, but she brushed it off and didn't seem to care. She reached 352 pounds by the time she graduated high school, and she realized only then that she had a serious addiction to eating. When you see an individual that weighs well over 600 pounds, it's pretty obvious that they are a compulsive eater. But on My 600 Pound Life, you get a unique window into the shameless and often disgusting habits of these people who can't stop eating. You really get to see the cause of these people's suffering. Tara has a secret that not many other patients had. Tara has a drawer of snacks in her nightstand drawer beside her bed. All she needs to do is reach down from bed to grab cookies, candy, chips, and other snacks. She says that food doesn't judge her, but most of the viewers do, and especially Dr. Now when he meets her. What makes her secret drawer so crazy is, if you can believe it, there aren't many other patients on the show who have admitted to hiding a secret drawer of snacks in their bedroom. Tara's addiction is so unhinged that she has to keep food at an arm's length to satisfy her cravings. Talk about a crazy way to live. In the first grade, she was the biggest child in the classroom. It didn't really dawn on me by my size until I got older. I stepped on a scale. He read 187.5. I just brushed it off. When I graduated high school, I was 352 pounds. It hit me like, wow. You know, it's an addiction. My food is an addiction. Now I have two kids who need me to take care of them. Oh. You hungry? What you want for snack? What outfit you want to wear? And I have to be there to take care of them. It is crazy that Tara's past is so dark that she feels only food can comfort her. But when she starts to divulge the reasons why she's so scarred, it's clear to see her life has been crazy and anything but normal. When she was 26, she was raped. As if that wasn't bad enough, she became pregnant by her rapist. She then had a miscarriage, and at that point was so distraught that all she could do was eat. It seems like a crazy thought, but many sexual abuse survivors feel that overeating and becoming obese is the only way to ensure no man will ever want to touch them again. It is tragic what happened to Tara, and it's astonishing to see just how unfair her life has become as a result of the crimes committed against her. Even when Tara was 15, one day her father woke up sick and was dead a mere three days later. The damage done by sudden losing her father caused her to spiral out of control. This poor woman can't catch a break, and it's sad to see how deeply broken she's become as a result. When I was 26, I was raped. And I got pregnant from the rape. And I had a, I had a miscarriage. I was heavy, but afterwards, I kept getting heavier. I felt that if I would become more unattractive, no man would want to touch me. When I was 15, one morning, my dad woke up not feeling well, went to the doctor, and three days later, he passed away. That quick. When Tara finally travels to Houston to meet with Dr. Now regarding the possibility of getting weight loss surgery, he asks her how many times a day she eats. Like most obese patients, she shyly divulges that she eats three square meals a day and only has a few snacks in between. This causes Dr. Now to bring in Tara's mother, who's responsible for taking care of her and cooks all of her meals. He urges Tara's mother to make changes needed to support Tara's weight loss journey. Many caregivers secretly enable their loved ones, and Tara's mother seems 
seemed to be following suit. So much so, in fact, that when Tara was asked with losing 20 pounds in her first month, she was only able to lose 16. Her mother was a big part of that problem. In the beginning of Tara's story, her mother admits that it's hard not to overserve Tara food. She says that it's hard to say no to her own child especially when she's telling her that she's hungry and hasn't eaten enough. Tara begs for food, and her mother delivers. She doesn't know what else to do. Doctor now realizes this right away and calls for immediate gastric bypass surgery in a last-ditch effort to save Tara's life. It's crazy how, after years of working with morbidly obese patients, Doctor now is able to spot an enabling caregiver right away. For a small and soft-spoken man, Doctor now has no problem confronting these strangers and calling them out for their abusive behavior. Behavior, which often leads to some of the craziest moments of the show. I'm helping her to stay like she is because it's hard to serve her and tell her that's all you can have. How can you tell a child, no, you can't have this food? Hi. Hello, how you doing? I'm, I'm Tara's mother. Okay, come on in, come on okay, in. Okay, great. I understand that she eats six times a day. So if she eats six times a day after surgery, I can tell you she's not going to lose weight. No. We need to make those transition now to have um, some weight loss and be in better shape for surgery. Okay. Before we move ahead with the surgery, she needs to lose 20 pounds or next month. You know, your weight loss is not being impressive. So I think you can do better. Yes, sir. It's some progress, but... It's not a whole lot of weight loss. So we need to make adjustment in your eating. We're gonna achieve that with gastric bypass surgery. I'm gonna have to schedule you for surgery immediately. If I send Tara back home now, I'm afraid that this is gonna be the last time I'm gonna see Tara. I'll Thank see you all. very much. Thank you very much. Later. Yes, okay. sir. Yes, sir. Thank okay. you. In possibly the saddest ending this episode could have had, Tara is awarded the gastric bypass surgery but can't bring herself to change her eating habits. After the surgery, she only loses 5 or so pounds per month. She tells Dr. Now that she's trying to stick to the diet, but it's no secret that she's been failing to do so. He keeps sending her home with more instructions and tips on how to keep the weight off. But every time she returns to the doctor, he's disappointed by the lack of progress. In this crazy scene, Tara breaks down in front of Dr. Now, and her mother cries out that no one will be happy unless she starves herself completely. Which, of course, is a dramatic and unnecessary response for people who are just trying to help her. She cries hysterically in Dr. Now's office and seems to break entirely, losing all her composure and hope. She accuses Dr. Now of mindlessly preaching to her, and swears up and down that she's only eating what she's supposed to. The episode hits a crazy climax when Dr. Now tells Tara that if she doesn't lose weight by the next visit, her weight loss journey will be over because there's nothing more Dr. Now can do for her. He was ready to give up on her. Tara slams the door of the office, crying hysterically and saying that she's done. Just to add more craziness to the mix, Tara ends up pulling things together and losing 256 pounds by the end of her episode, proving that no matter how crazy and dramatic the journey may seem, the destination is always worth the struggle. How's your diet and everything coming along? I'm sticking to my diet. I'm doing what I'm supposed to. Yeah, amazingly, you haven't lost any weight in one month. I've lost five pounds. Five pounds in one month? Yeah, I used to gain 20 pounds in one month. That's, that's good. With this type of operation, you should lose 20 to 30 pounds in mind. If Tara hasn't lost any weight next time she's here, I'm afraid that's going to be the end of her weight loss. Do you understand what he told you? Yes, I understand. I'm going to starve myself for two weeks to make everybody f***ing happy. I'm done with this. I, I quit. I'm done. If you enjoyed the video, it helps us out a ton by leaving a like, and feel free to subscribe to Plot Twist for all things My 600 Pound Life.